My name is Chris Massingham, uh, and I'd just like to sort of really, I'll go over a, an incident that happened to me about six months ago, on uh, it was actually the last day of July. I came down to New Farm Park here, and uh, it was with my daughter and wife, and it was the end of the, the, the park run, and I was just talking to my daughter, and that's the last thing I remember of that moment. I, I had no uh, pain coming on, but the next thing I was, I was on the ground, um, and I had a, it was called an out of hospital cardiac arrest. Um, now the result of that was that my heart, when I hit the ground, because I had a clot, an instant, instantaneous clot, uh, once I did hit the ground, my heart didn't come back into a normal rhythm. So that meant that I needed a defibrillator to, main, to put that heart back into that normal rhythm. Now, I think the value of that is to be seen pretty clearly in that if it had been there immediately, um, then that I would have had access to it and I would have immediately had an opportunity for my heart to come back into that normal rhythm. I was, I was lucky that the, um, I had people very quickly come and perform CPR and therefore I had oxygenated blood to my brain um, the whole time. The ambulance arrived about, uh, about the 11th minute and then um, I ha had access to the defibrillator then and it was after I, my heart went back into normal rhythm after the second um, defibrillation. Um, so then I went through the process after that of rehabilitation. Uh, so in a sense, I was lucky on the day that I had access to a defibrillator within um, that, that time frame that allowed my heart not to have, I haven't had any uh, effects on my heart after it. Uh, because of all those things on the day here that, that helped me, but having have ac access to a defibrillator immediately would for any person who has a heart attack or a cardiac arrest would be most valuable. Um, so I would support in any way opportunities to, to purchase, to be able to have access to a defibrillator for, for moments like this. And there are moments, and they are moments that you, you don't know, you don't think, you don't know. I came down here on that Saturday morning and had no idea. It was a lovely morning, and as I said, I was just talking to my daughter. So it happened so instantly. So to have access to that defibrillator definitely would, would, would be advantageous, not only for the people to whom it happened to, but for the people who are caring for that person, to know they've got the confidence to have a, a defibrillator there that would help in that moment uh, would be most valuable. The, the, the team of people that worked on me did a great job and, and I've been able to meet with them since. Uh, but it, it's probably important to remember that I would not have survived except for the defibrillator. And as I said on the day, that was there in the ambulance, but it was an essential part of me recovering. And, and, and as research seems to be showing, in almost any situation, a defibrillator um, needs to be there.